one is following me now on vertical mood this is very impressive and now is on follow mood finally we have got brand new software updates for DJI Neo Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Finally, DJI has released major software updates for this DJI Neo, which we have been waiting for for a long time. Since the DJI Neo has released, first time DJI has released major software updates. In this video, I'm going to talk about all those software updates and explain them what we have got new, what DJI has done for us. Let's dig into it. Well, there was few software updates before also, but there was only bugs fixed. Uh, there was nothing serious in all those updates. The first time DJI has uh, great news for all DJI new users. So in this new software update, first of all, we, we have the support for brand new DJI goggles N3, which DJI has just released now. DJI Neo is getting all these latest software updates which you are getting for DJI Air 3 and Air 3S. Second big software update for the DJI Neo is the vertical shooting. Now you can just record the vertical videos 9x16 from your DJI Neo and you can just post them straight to your social media if it's YouTube or TikTok. You don't need to crop them. You can just record from your drones. Before we only had that option in Mini 3 series. Mini 3, Mini 3 Pro and Mini 4 Pro and DJI gave that option in Air 3 as well but now you have that option in DJI Neo as well you can record those vertical videos in 1080p resolution which is very very impressive I will demonstrate that also later on this video let's see what else we have got in this new software update so DJI has released a new DJI Fly app as well where now you have the option for noise reduction, noise cancellation while using this DJI Neo as well so for that you need uh, RCN2 or RCN3 controller. I am using this RC2 controller. So, uh, so this controller does not have any built-in microphone. Obviously, I cannot use that option here. But if we have RCN2 or RCN3, so we can plug uh, our cell phone on it. Then we have the option for noise cancellation. Before we only had the option to record the audio. When we are using the mobile app, where we can control the phone through Wi-Fi without a cell phone, uh, without a controller. But now even when you are using the controller and your phone is plugged to the controller, you can still you can still record your voice through your phone and you will have an option for noise cancellation as well, which is released by DJI just now. The other big update from the DJI is which I was looking for in my last video also. I was thinking DJI has improved the active track, so called uh, follow mood. Now DJI has increased the speed when the drone is following you. DJI has improved the speed while the drone will be tracking you. Well, I'm very, very excited to try the vertical mode. Let's not waste the time and let's see what DJI has done for us. So right now I am in the app. Yeah, in the camera settings, we have got a new option now, 9x16. This is the same option like we had in uh, Mini 3 and Mini 4. So now we have it in DJI Neo. It is going to be very amazing. I'm very excited to try these uh, vertical shots from this DJI Neo. I'm just going to try it now. On this vertical mood, we can even capture the quick shots also. So after the recording, we can just post them straight to the social media. We don't need to crop them anymore. Let's quickly try some quick shot modes on this vertical mood and see how's the camera quality on this vertical mode all right so i'll have to take off first of all it is also quite windy right now <laughs> on my side it is always windy all right here you are watching the vertical video on this drone all right now we are in the app and we have the option to scan ourselves so then we can start the quick shot we have the option the quick shots are still same Drony rocket circle helix boomerang. Let's try a drony first of all. Let me increase the distance 10 meter. 10 meter drony on the vertical DJI Neo. Let's go. But the camera quality it is nice it's not bad even on the vertical mood even this video is already cropped but the way the DJI app is cropping it it's not bad it's looking very nice let's try another one 
let's go for a circle shot all right i'm already having the wind warnings my drone is right here on the ground and i'm having the wind warnings all right a circle shot on the vertical mood on dji neo Pretty impressive. The quality is not bad, and it's not cropping the video too much. It's still giving me a nice dynamic range as well. Let me try and capture a drone with manual commands on this vertical mode. Let's see. It is nice. I'll have to try all this on the cell phone app as well where I will be uh, controlling this only through the Wi-Fi and let's see how's the improvements on the cell phone app as well these all shots I'm capturing through the RCN2 but I'll have to try I'll have to try from the cell phone app as well let's see how's the performance from the cell phone app as well All right, now I'm going to connect this phone through the Wi-Fi to my DJI Fly app, not with the controller, without a controller. Uh, DJI has done some few updates on the mobile app as well, where you can control your drone only with the cell phone app with only Wi-Fi connection. Let's see what DJI has done there. All right, so the same like a drone, we have update for the DJI Fly as well. Let's update the DJI Fly app and let's see what are the new options and new features for this DJI Neo in this DJI Fly app. So basically when we will be connecting this phone through the Wi-Fi, so this app will have a different interface. It's not like a normal DJI Fly app. DJI has done some updates on that uh, interface as well. Let's, let's see. All right, so I'm in the app now. Let's, let's, let's connect this DJI Neo to the app and let's see. All right, so the moment you switch on your drone, you will have an option here to connect. The app will de detect your DJI Neo by itself. So I have my DJI Neo here. Let's connect it. There, my drone is connected. So here now in the cell phone app as well, if I go to camera settings, I have the option here now to record 9 by 16 vertical videos so you can record those vertical videos from the cell phone app as well through the wi-fi connection without any controller without any kind of controller if you just have your phone you can record vertical videos from your cell phone app as well all right let's see how these options work on the cell phone app Three, two, one. all right this phone is following me now on vertical mood this is very impressive And now he's on follow mode. All right, so now it can it can follow you on vertical mode that is really impressive and you can record your actually voice as well from your cell phone app without anything else here now is recording my voice and following me as well on vertical mode this is really impressive now you can record a vertical active track from this drone without any cell phone controller without any controller
well done DJI this is a really really nice update basically now you can just record your vertical videos without any controller if you have your drone you have a cell phone app DJI fly app you can just fly your drone on vertical mode you, you can uh, do an active track you can do all the quick shots on vertical mode without any controller all right so let's quickly round up this video so we have got the support for the goggles n3 we have got uh, noise cancellation we have got the vertical shooting now and now we can even do the active track and follow mood and all those quick shots on vertical mood so these are the basic major updates if you do like the video please subscribe my channel until next time ciao ciao